Hello everybody, this is my introduction video to DTube and what I would like to do on DTube is basically some how-to videos. I have some old ones I would like to upload and also I would like to do some vlogs every now and again. I think that would be good for me. Um, part of my how-to videos I would like to start doing is a series on mining different cryptocurrencies. I think that would be neat uh, as I go through the trials myself of mining different cryptocurrencies and holding on to them to build my portfolio um, and the first first uh, episode I would like to do in that series is how to mine graft coin uh, it's a new coin it's still in its ICO phase for one day seven hours and 31 minutes so I thought it would be neat to mine also I think it's a pretty cool concept what it is is it's basically what you do is you put your currency on this app and then you can buy things from merchants with your currency and then basically what those merchants can do is either hold the currency or they can sell part or all of the currency for fiat money in their local area so I thought that was pretty neat um, I'm going to teach you how to AMD and NVIDIA mine GPU mine and I'm also going to show you how to CPU mine um, however I use CryptoNo Easy Miner and full disclosure that gets flagged by Windows Defender however I don't think there's any issue with using it it just gets flagged because it's a mining software however I will also show you how to CPU mine with Claymore CPU miner just in case you don't do not want to use a crypto node easy miner so let's get started I'm going to show you the crypto node easy miner first just because I think that's the most complicated to get started so what you're gonna do is you're gonna download crypto node easy miner and you're gonna get a zip file and then you're gonna need to go into Windows Defender and this is if you're gonna use this you don't have to you're gonna go into Windows Defender virus and threat protection add, a rem add and remove or remove exclusion and then add an exclusion and then go to file add the zip file then go to folder and add the uh, the um, binaries folder and if you can't get the bi if you can't find the binaries folder for some reason go into the zip folder take it out of the zip f take the binaries folder out of the zip folder and then put it somewhere where you'll remember and add it and then put it back in the zip folder and then extract it and when you extract it after you've added it here you it won't it won't catch it and it won't delete it because it always deletes the binary folder when if, if you don't do this so after you've extracted that you're gonna have a folder that looks like this but you won't have these here uh, until you open up the program its, itself and then when you open up the program these will pop up you can now close the program open this up add your wallet what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to add, uh, download the wallet on Android or on Apple Play Store. Sorry, I don't I don't have Apple products. And then also um or you can use the website, I think, but I'm not 100% sure on that cuz I'm not using it. So then after you've added your wallet in there, save it. Go into Crypto No Easy Miner. And then you're going to need a pool now. Now, Graft has its own US pool and its own EU pool, but I'm using Space Pools Graft pool right now. And that can be found here. Then just go to Get Started copy and paste this into this section here 
and then choose your port uh, 111, 333, 555, or 777. I think 111 or 333 for CPU though. And then what you're going to do is choose your cores and then click start mining. When you click start mining, that's when you're going to actually start mining. And then you can go to this page here, the home page, type in your wallet and then you'll actually see your your pending balance here however if you don't see your pending balance don't worry it's the block hasn't matured here you, you go to this and then if it's not matured that's why you're not seeing any pending balance there once that matures it will show up there I promise so now that we've done crypto node easy miner what we can do now is show you Claymore CPU miner and that's at this link here and I'm leaving all the links in the description by the way and then you get the newest version download that you'll get the zip file extract that and then basically you just open up the config file here you put in the pool and then you put in your wallet and you save it and then you click start and it starts mining for you I'm not gonna do that though because I've already like well I guess I could basically you click, click start and then it will go through a process and start up the miner just like that uh, if this pops up just allow it anyways that'll start up for you now you can go back or sorry yeah so that was uh, AMD CPU miner or Claymore CPU miner sorry and and then now what what I will show you is how to AMD GPU mine and what you're going to do is download this here you'll get the zip file extract the zip and then you'll get what looks like this here minus the logs open up your config and just do the exact same thing you put in your your wallet and you put in your pool and then I use 333 for my uh, GPU exit that click start when, when you start that up you'll be mining with your GPU it goes through the process like last time takes takes a minute or two to start up do not worry about this I worried about that uh, when I first uh, joined this pool however it's completely fine I still got my hashes went up and everything I still got paid for it it's fine and then so that was GPU mining with AMD now I'll show you Nvidia mining with the program CC miner what you're going to want to do is go to this link here and download this this file right here extract the zip once you download and extract your CC miner folder you should see something lo that looks like this minus these two things right here to get mining graft with CC miner you have to create a batch file to do that create a new text document open your text document then what you're going to do is go to the website the pool that we're mining from whatever pool you're mining from go to get started copy this whole thing except on this pool for some reason there's something that should be right here that's missing and for some reason uh, I don't know why they don't have that in there but it doesn't this line doesn't work I've fixed it for mine here so I'll show you what that is I had to add this in right here but pretend for the sake of things that we just copied that off of the website just now because in any other scenario and in fact if you're on a different pool you might just be able to copy that 
and make a batch file and just be good to go but just in case you're not I'll put this in the description and you can use mine and then this is where your wallet goes you copy and paste your wallet in right in here and then you go to file save as all files graft and then uh, dot bat for batch save now you have that here now as soon as you double click this it's gonna start mining but I don't have an Nvidia card in my machine right now so it it's not gonna work so I'm just not even gonna click it but if you were to click that you would start mining now to check your uh, stats you take your your wallet post it in here click look up and then you'll be able to see uh, your pending balance for graft here and your total paid for graft here now if you're if this isn't loading for a long time make sure to check blocks and and see how this is still doing its thing here once that hits 60 and goes to unlock status like this that's when I'm gonna notice my pending balance change and that's when you'll see your pending balance change so if you're worried that it's not working because you're pending because it's not changing it it is working it just took takes a while I don't know why it is that way alright well that's it for today thank you for watching my introduction to DTube in my very first ever episode in my mining series I hope you stick around and will check out the next episodes. This is a pretty great community actually. I've met some really nice people and I can't wait to see where it goes. I'm not a YouTube partnership anymore so I wanted to try a new platform and so far I'm really liking it. I've been on it for about 10 days now and I've just been commenting and kind of just meeting people and making friends and it seems pretty cool. Anyways, thank you for watching my videos and uh, I hope to see you soon. Thank you.